Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today's date is May the 2nd, 2019, and today we have a special guest with us. His name is Jake. He's from Trend Spider, and he's going to kind of show us and run us through his platform, how they, how they operate, and just give us some good technical ideas on how to use the platform. Hey, Jake, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. Thank you guys for having me on once again. Always appreciate it. And, um, you know, one thing that I wanted to do this time around and, you know, last time I kind of did this as well is just show how the platform can be used in an everyday basis. So in this case, we've got the spy chart up daily versus the weekly. And um, you can use this in a bunch of different ways, whether maybe you are bullish and you think the, you know, the market may pull back. You can always set alerts. You can do all types of things apart from just being able to draw trend lines. And the trend lines are actually drawn automatically, as we've talked about before, and um, they are drawn based on different preferences. So these, these trend lines right here, this channel, is based on the specific preferences that I have on these base points. So um, you can easily change these. These are the specific ones that I like to use. So if you are a user um, and you want to check these out, you can just go to this little tab, click it, and go to enhanced. You're drawing the inputs from the WIC, and you are respecting gaps. So you're not going to draw a line through a gap um, when you're respecting it here. So um, these are the lines that I'm looking at, just solely based on um, kind of my eye. Everyone's got their own eye in the market. I know Jim's got more of a horizontal eye than I do. Uh, I like to kind of look at these, hor um, excuse me, these. Um, diagonal channels. He looks at more of the horizontal channel. So, um, you know, everyone's got their own style. So if I was looking at possibly creating an alert for a, a breakdown of this setup that we have on SPY, we did have a nice bounce on the SMA 20 uh, here. But if I did think we were going to go up, but I did think obviously there's always that possibility we could break down through this area I could create an alert for a potential breakdown uh, a number of different ways. So the first way I could do that, maybe I wanted to see if we would retest this channel below. We've already tested it uh, three times now. The first one was just really starting the channel off and then we've tested it two times since then, creating the actual channel support to draw the line. And so if we did went, move down and test that again, we can create an alert at this line and be alerted anytime that the price action gets anywhere within this purple area. So, you know, the price action doesn't always get exactly to the trend line. Sometimes uh, you can see here, this doji right here did not get exactly to the trend line. It did touch it before, but sometimes you just don't get exactly to it. So that's what this sensitivity feature is uh, created for and helps with is to capture some of that price action that you may not um, necessarily uh, capture with just a single line. Sometimes you need more of a zone here. And you can see as I move this to the right, the alert's going to fire within X amount of dollars from the selected line. In this case, we're $2.22 away from this line. And um, if, if I wanted to create a bigger alert zone, I can always go all the way to the right. You can see how this area gets bigger. So that's one way I could use this if I was looking at possibly a bearish breakdown. Um, now, on top of that, from just a uh, from another standpoint, we could also create an alert on this moving average itself. So maybe I wanted to really just be alerted whenever the price action gets anywhere near this this purple area. And so this would be more of a very kind of close alert to the price action. The one below is more of a channel test. Now, I could also create a multi-factor alert. So let's say that I wanted to be alerted when multiple conditions on this chart occur. Some of these are lower indicators that I'd like to use. So the percent range, RSI, and the vortex are just ones that I personally use. Um, just from experience, everyone's going to have their own lower indicators and conditional criteria that they'd like to use for signals for a breakout or breakdown. Uh, but what I would like to do is have the system let me know whenever the percent range starts to break down. Uh, and generally, if we start to break down below negative 70, that's something I'll definitely keep an eye on, especially uh, when the RSI, 
uh, the 25 in this case starts to break down below, let's say 55. Uh, and I'm getting 55 just from this area right here. This was previous support. So if we did break below that, that'd be something to keep in mind. Lastly, the vortex indicator is breaking down here. The blue is starting to cross the red. So when we have had this blue cross the red in the past, we've had more downside. So I'm just going to have the system alert me there too. So in order to do that, I can go to create alert, multi-factor alert. I can do possible breakdown and let's do this for 14 days. So it'll be uh, expiring in 14 days or when this actually happens once. So I can go in then and create the criteria. The first one I would look for is the price. The daily price is closes less than the SMA 20 here. So I go in, go to condition, daily, candle, close is less than the indicator, in this case, the daily SMA 20. On top of that, I also want to be alerted when the percent range is breaking down below negative 70. So I could do the condition daily indicator. You can type it in. Williams percent range 10 is less than the constant value of negative 70. And do then the daily RSI. In this case, the 25 is less than, I think we said, constant value 55 and then finally we would look for that vortex cross so with crosses one thing to keep in mind you have to do two different criteria the first criteria is kind of um, defining what the cross is so we have the daily indicator and I'm looking for the blue to cross the red to the downside and so I would do the vortex in this case it's the 10 so the positive has crossed the negative and that's the 10 and then I have to define which way that is is that a is that to the upside or the downside so in this case it'd be to the downside so we have the daily indicator vortex positive is less than the daily vortex negative and so then I have all of these criteria for the system to watch for me and I'll just create the alert and then I can then uh, track this alert and all of the price action um, and all of the different criteria within, within this area right here. So you can see here, um, we've got this XBI multi-factor alert and you can see the different criteria. Some of these have not become true and then some of them have. And so you can see how far along your multi-factor alert is in, uh, in the process of triggering an alert. So. That is how you can do that. If I was uh, if I was trading the spy, that's kind of what I would do. I personally just use spy as a proxy for the overall market, um, you know, to see just to gauge the strength of the market. Um, and so, let's say that I I wasn't really going to pay attention to the the weekly. I could do the same thing here, um, and really, I could actually just do this um, and and clone this one right here. So I can clone go to the weekly and then change all these to weekly and also be alerted um, anytime this same setup occurs on the weekly. And so <laughs> we've got some interesting randomly generated names here. This is Kickass Keller. Let's uh, change that to weekly breakdown. We'll have the same thing, except this time we'll expire in 30 days, triggered once, and we'll create the alert. So we've easily created two alerts now on the daily and the weekly for a potential breakdown. Um, if, if you wanted my opinion, I do think um, we could move up just because everyone's waiting for that big move down and it's just not coming and it's continually uh, just kind of grinding up. But uh, there's, always that, there's always that possibility that there can be a breakdown and that's what is nice to create these alerts. So when, when these conditions become true, you will have an idea if, uh, if things need to kind of be re-looked at and, and all of that good stuff. That, that is um, generally kind of using the, the alert system. Now we do have another strategy tester system that we just enacted a uh, week, week and a half ago. So it's still um, a pretty early stage feature, but we now have the ability to test 
different different things. So I'll do a different scenario here. Can I ask you a question? How sure. Do, how do these alerts do they pop up in your window on or how how do they appear once they hit your criteria? You'll get a uh, text message or an email, depending on what you would like. Um, you can always go here and um, mess around with the account settings. I think it's in here, actually. Um, notifications, yep. So you can check email or SMS or both, and you will be alerted um, that way. Okay. And then you'll also have a very loud beeping noise whenever, whenever an alert goes off. So that's another way it will alert you. And... Um, and yeah, anytime, anytime that one has been triggered, you'll see it down here and it will tell you, you know, what happened and when it, when it occurred. It'll pop up on the right there. Mm-hmm. You'll see, you'll see. Wanted to back test maybe, and let's say that there's, maybe this is possibly a Harami forming. Maybe you're just wanting to go back and look if this did uh, form as a Harami tomorrow on the weekly, you wanted to go back and see all the different Haramis on the chart and, and how those have performed. Well, one, you can do that by visualizing it. So let's do a bearish Harami here. Harami. Here. And so we will find all the different Haramis on the chart. And so we can see the bullish ones, we can see the bearish ones. Um, and so, to to take that a step further we can also do the strategy tester and then go and test the different um candles to see how they've performed so in this case we do the candlestick pattern we do the harami bearish and you know we could test it after let's do five candles so after five weeks and so we can test that and then see what the average return is. So in this case, um, the bearish Rami hasn't been that bearish. The mean return is 1%. Um, so what we can do is we can actually paint this on the chart and see anytime there's been a Harami, what, what the exit and the entry criteria and what the return was on that. Very interesting. So it's a way to just speed up the process of doing analytics um, and really finding the statistics. We are working on adding more statistics such as the max gain, the max drawdown. So you can see here, we've got, we've got this Harami, right? So that's where, our, that's where our entry is. And right now the system isn't um, distinguishing between the, the bearish or the bullish. So it's, it's just finding any Harami. So in this case, this is a bullish, but so we can see that the price action actually did move up after this, but it's taking the exit at negative point zero uh, negative three point zero six percent because um, it's it's only taking into account the close of five candles. It's not telling you what the max gain is here. So this was actually, uh, if you look at what the maximum gain was since the signal, it was positive, but after X amount of candles, it was negative. So we are working to make that statistic a little more filterable, if you will, uh, so you can see what the max gain was, the max loss, and then overall what the, what the exit and entry was. And, and what moving average is that? that it's the 20. The 20, okay. Yeah. Uh, that's the weekly and then you, what you can also do is let's we are on multi time frame analysis so if you wanted to overlay the monthly SMA 20 as well you could do that too so uh, kind of interesting to see how the weekly SMA 20 is trying to cross the monthly here again um, we did cross the downside now it's crossing right back up so uh, if we look back in history that's kind of happened right here before and then we just continue to move right back up so uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see if that occurs again. And that's the cool thing. You can use these different longer term uh, indicators on a shorter term chart and start to see these patterns that you haven't been able to before because you can't, it, it, I, don't, I don't know of another chart system that you can overlay, you know, the monthly SMA 20 on the weekly or the daily. It's just, it's easy to um, have four or five different charts up on the screen when sometimes you only need one and you can consolidate all of that into one screen like you have here. Well, I really do like that 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 shield you have around that 
SMA because I was pointing out today on DFFN the support level and there was a few times where it didn't hit that support line but it came very close and mm -hmm. that would have been a great indicator to, to, to you know be notified when you do have a good trade on so in this case you know if you were if you if you wanted to look for different areas and you were using fibs let's say uh, you know you could actually create an alert where it's not just this line it's the same thing where you create a a boundary around the line so you don't have to get that perfect touch you can you can sure. get you can get that little uh, you know that margin of error in there and and capture some of those those sneaky plays wonderful but um, yeah, that's and that's the thing. I really just want to show how you can use it in an everyday analysis type deal. Um, hope everyone enjoyed the spy analysis. You know, we'll see what happens. But um, these are kind of the areas that I was just looking at and how I would personally use the system to create an alert. This alert's now created, and I don't have to stare at the the chart constantly. I, I can have the system do it for me and let me know when, when the main things I'm looking at start to break out or break down. And you can do this on multiple tickers. That's what's a good benefit about this too. Yep, exactly. So, you know, you, you can, you can have all of these different stocks with alerts on it. And, you know, so you've got the system really looking for all of the main things uh, that you watch. So I typically like to keep it lower uh than than five but sometimes I end up having a watch list of 20 that i just like to kind of see what's going on so you can do it across as many stocks as you'd like yeah i recommend 20 on any of your top 20 watch list i have one that's what i try to try to emphasize yep yeah i generally like to have a, my watch list generally range from 20 to 30 but then i I'd, I'd like to only um trade you know, sometimes I don't like to trade one at a time just to stay completely focused and, and that type of thing. So that's um, how I trade. Yeah, it's today I was running three at a time and it about had me, you know, confused there for a second. And I, yeah, yeah, I'm the same way. One. If I have more than two, I'm like, whoa, we've got too much going on. So uh, definitely, um, you know, that's that's my style. Other people love to trade a lot of different ones and have that action all the time. But for me, it just throws me off. So that's the beauty of the market. Everyone's got their own style of trading and, and how they look at the markets. So um, but thank you so much, Jim, for having me on and hope everyone enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me um, at Jake at trendspider.com or you can reach out to our social media platforms. All of them are just at TrendSpider. And we do have a seven day free trial. So if you'd like to try it out, you can do that without any obligation on your end. And uh, yeah, we'd love you to try it out and uh, give us some feedback. Any feedback is appreciated. We're really just trying to make the best product out there and, uh, and provide something innovative that traders have not seen in, in a long time. There's a lot of systems out there, but innovation is kind of lacking in the last decade or so, I think. So well, you're definitely a pioneer of this. And is there a special code we could give them for I love stocks or? Yes, there is. Um, it, you can ask Vegas has the code. We'll share it in the video. Okay. And, I'll put it down in the comment section. Yeah, I have it right here. One second. She, I gave it to her last time. No, well, we sure do appreciate having you on. That it's a treat to have you on, and and I trade with Jake on a daily basis. And yes, hey, I always have fun in the room with you every day. Now it seems like I'm there more and more, and I really appreciate uh, you letting me in and voicing my thoughts. And it's it's always cool to see uh, you know what your opinion is. And and like I said, I'm more of a diagonal trend line guy. You're more of a horizontal guy. And it's always interesting to see how everyone's got their own slightly different view of the market. And it, no one's right or wrong. It's just uh, everyone's got their own way of drawing it. And that's what I love about it, too. This isn't um, really when our on our automated side, it's really not there to replace your technical analysis. It's there to complement what you're already doing by hand and provide ideas that you may have not thought of. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm a chart pattern guy, so I, you know, I'm, I'm both ways. I'm, I'm pretty well versatile, and but I do have a special system down for my, my, my benefit, but everybody else does too. 
and it's yep. good about all the tools and indicators you have with trend spider it, it's you know you can pull up the three black crows you can use the emas the smas you, the fibonacci's uh, it's just a, a wonderful platform and we do appreciate having you on we're going to go ahead and post that code on the link down below in the yep in the, i got it actually okay. it's I love let's see love 25b l u v 25b so um yes that is the coupon code and uh we that is um let's see i think 20 25 percent off i'll have to confirm but yeah it's uh yeah 25 percent off so all right um that is uh, available if anyone wants to give it a try after the free trial and we thank you so much in advance well today was a good day and i think people will not go away in may so jake have a good night tonight and we're looking forward to more uh, featured videos with you and this is i love stocks um today's date may the 2nd 2019 and i love stocks hey thanks jim see you, everyone Thank you.